What's up, guys? All right, so let's have a discussion about Elvis Aloha from Hawaii. Okay, so this is my thoughts on the concert. Uh, you know, a lot of people have different thoughts, and I'll get into that. And the point of this video is a discussion. I want to see in the comments what you guys think about this performance. Now, you know, Elvis wasn't touring overseas, and that was a big goal that he had. He wanted to go overseas. You know, he went overseas in the army. Uh, he played overseas, you know, when he went, not overseas, I'm sorry. He played outside of the United States when he went to Canada. But Elvis, you know, because of Colonel Parker and other reasons, which I know you guys know what I'm talking about, him, you know, allegedly not being a citizen and this and that, um, you know, he didn't go overseas. So Colonel cooked up this idea of the next best thing. Elvis can be you know, go to Hawaii and play before an audience there, and they can telecast it via satellite around the world. First time ever done, which is an awesome accomplishment. Elvis was the first one to do it. Um, overall, uh, the viewers were over 1.5 billion, more than 1969 when Neil Armstrong landed on the moon, that whole thing. All right, so this was like a plan for the colonel to satisfy Elvis's itch and the itch of the fans to see him outside of the United States. Um, this is, you know, his remedy. You know, if you're not going to go outside, let's just beam a telecast across, you know, the world. And it was very successful. The album went to number one in 1973 in April. Um, it was his last number one record. But the reason why I make this video is because I want to share my thoughts on the actual concert. Now, um, I think Elvis is so unique in many ways. But the way he is most unique to me that really sets him apart from all the others is, yeah, you know, he's handsome. He has a great voice. Um, you know, this or that, you know, you, we could keep going on and on, but Elvis's energy that he puts in a performance into, into his performances is what made him famous, you know, for the most part, you know, in 1956, when he did Hound Dog, Heartbreak Hotel, all of his movements and gyrations, you know, for Ed Sullivan, you know, they showed him from the waist up because of gyrations, you know, that, you know, if he came out singing like Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra, yeah, he probably would have been, you know, popular, but not like he was. What set Elvis apart was his, sorry, my dogs are fighting in the background. They'll stop in a minute. Anyway. I have two German Shepherds, by the way. So, you know, what set Elvis apart and what made him different was his energetic, charismatic performances. And, he and you know, before I get too ahead of myself, I don't like, and I was disappointed looking back. When I first saw it, I didn't know any better. But Elvis did not put the effort into his uh, rock songs that he did in every year before that. And even, you know, in, in later parts of 73, 74 and on, Elvis was notably subdued. And a lot of people agree with me about this. He didn't move. Like, he, for one, he didn't even put Poke Salad any in there. And I can understand that he didn't want to. Like, I do know that he didn't want to, um, you know, have That's All Right Mama in there. Poke Salad any, and st some of the stuff like that. Because he did just have a Madison Square Garden live album and he didn't want a lot of duplicate songs I get it but we all know that Elvis did not put a lot of energy into other songs like Suspicious Minds a uh, whole lot of shaking going on Burning Love that's that that was I can handle that you know that's a solid performance you know but CC Ryder and others before I get into the reasons why he may not have um, that's my statement. That's how I feel on it. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad concert. I'm happy he did it. But I think, don't we all agree that maybe a beamed satellite concert would have been maybe a better concert if it would have been, you know, 1970, 1971, 1972 even? The energy that Elvis put into his performance prior to and after Aloha was way better. Now, some people may say that, oh, you know, he was he was told not to sweat too much because, uh, you know, he put on a lot of makeup and it won't look good. Or I've heard arguments that, oh, Elvis, 
um, you know, didn't want to dance too much because he'd be out of breath for the next song that he had to sing, which, you know, might be somewhat true. I've heard people say that, oh, Elvis was on a strictly timed basis, so he couldn't put too much in. He had to fit in as many songs as possible. But why don't we just maybe do three songs less? That way you can put 100% energy into your concert, you know? Um, so I just, every single answer I've heard does not add up, does not make sense to me. And write down in the comments what you think about this. This isn't to argue, this is just to have a fun Elvis discussion about, you know, the, one of his, his most known concert of all time, really. No other concert is more known than this, Aloha from Hawaii. Um, I was really happy when they came out with the three CD deluxe edition, but that's another topic. 2004, I think it could uh, get another upgrade. I've seen a lot of different angles, and uh, it'd be interesting to uh, get more footage on this, or at least the different angles. But anyway, um, you know, it would have been better if we would have had Elvis perform from 70, 71, or 72. Now, I will say, Elvis's performance of You Gave Me a Mountain, uh, My Way, American Trilogy, I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry, I'll Remember You. Like, he sings so awesome. Like, he sings better. Like, my favorite versions of this of those songs come from this concert. Um, I do like My Way better from 1975, which I made a video on. If you, if you take a minute and search my channel, you won't, it won't take long to find it. But his, his ballads were awesome. His power ballads were fantastic, the best. But his um his movements, even like for example, like say uh from nineteen seventy you lost that love and feeling or you don't have to or yeah or you don't have to say you love me or you know even those type of performances he puts so much like gyrations and movements into those and he doesn't hear. I know he didn't sing those songs in this one, but you get it. Elvis, I was disappointed because he didn't put that much effort into his live performances. I'm sorry, not his live performances, but this live performance, the dancing effort. You know, Suspicious Mind seems like a very lazy version. Um, blue suede shoes, like, come on. You know, and people say what they want to say, but think about this. Think about this reason. This is why I don't understand, um, and this is why I don't get other people's reasons for why Elvis didn't put um, the energy that he's known for into this particular performance. Um, think about this. Okay, so people say, oh, he, he did it because of this, or he wanted to showcase his singing, or da -da, yada, yada, yada. Think about this. Okay, Elvis knows that he, one of the main reasons he became famous was for his... Um, uh, gyrations, his movements, his, um, you know, that, you know, hound dog. Um, and you know, when there was even more pressure put upon Elvis for a comeback in 1968, what did he do? Put more effort into his live performance or into his, uh, singing style. No, he, he moved like never before. You know, he put tons of energy into every single song, energy like moving, dancing energy. Every single in 1956 through 57, all his movies, the comeback special, um, that's the way it is. Elvis on tour. Elvis was totally wild in his performance style, but Aloha from Hawaii is so sub subdued. You know, so why would Elvis decide to now change his style? For a worldwide audience, no comments, no, no answers I've heard have you know sufficed. I just think that Elvis was kind of uh, bored. I think he was lacking inspiration for those songs. I think he loved singing ballads more than the rock songs, in my opinion. Elvis started out singing ballads, and then he you know fumbled upon "That's All Right, Mama." Um, I, I sort of think, and you know, he made a lot of uh, statements in the 70s saying, you know, I really don't want to do Hound Dog again. I don't really want to, you know, move. But if you, but if I don't move, you guys think I lost it. So I got to do it. And, you know, the hardcore fans know what I'm talking about because you heard him make these statements. I sort of think that Elvis um, lost some of his passion and energy for it because, you know, to move on stage like Elvis moved, you got to have 
inspiration. You got to have energy. You got to have passion for your music. And I think by 73, Elvis lost a lot of that, even though there's a lot of times where we see him putting in the, the, uh, you know, the physical energy in his performances, if it's not a ballad or a power ballad, you know, um, I think he lost a lot of that. And also the only valid uh, explanation I've heard so far that might be true is Elvis went on a crash diet before this concert. And uh, it was a crash diet because it needed to be a crash diet. You can tell some of the photos from in the video from 1972, November, um, just a, two months before this concert. He was, you know, noticeably probably about 20 pounds overweight. So he had to hurry up and diet. And according to Linda Thompson... Uh, he only ate 500 calories a day. And I know from personal training and being into fitness that if you're eating 500 calories a day, you do not have energy. So, yeah, that might have been the only, you know, valid um, excuse that I've heard for that, for Elvis being a little lethar- on the lethargic side. And I'm not hating on the performance. It was awesome. It was cool, you know, but we know Elvis at 100%. And I don't think it was 100% here. Um, so that could have been he just didn't have the energy to really do it. And then later when he started eating more, yeah, he put on weight, but he started eating more. Even in 73, I'm talking about, in June, if you see like uh, Nassau Coliseum and all that, he was really dancing and moving. You know, we wish we would have had that for Aloha from Hawaii. But um, this is just a discussion on that topic. Um, if you agree with me, let me know. If you disagree, also comment, and uh, we'll post this, and we'll have a discussion. Uh, make sure you follow me on Elvis is a Man on Instagram, and subscribe on YouTube for tons of new information coming out, and little facts on Elvis and this and that, live performances, FTD reviews, and uh, Gem of the Week, which would be number five this week. So tell me how you like this video. If you like these videos also, let me know in the comments, or leave a thumbs up. I appreciate the feedback.